Yet the entire Old and New Testament hinged on that lady making that decision. It had nothing to do with an alabaster box. It had nothing to do with the ointment. It had nothing to do with what she was wearing. What it had to do with was when she gave preeminence. And when she decided, I'm going to give everything, now the timepiece can continue. Because what this did, when this little lady made that decision, what this, what this did was it allowed Jesus to expose the Judas that was in the mist. Because God can't force them to do anything. They have to do it of their own free will. So now Jesus will create the situation for some little lady who's not worthy to come and give him true worship the way he's chosen to have true worship by giving preeminence, by giving everything that she has. And a result of that is the Judas, the Judas spirit is exposed. It can't help itself. Brother Branham says that Balaam, he never really liked that, that people of Israel to begin with. In his heart, he never really liked them to begin with. But he needed something to expose that. The scripture says Judas was a thief at heart. But he needed something to expose that. So this little lady, unknowingly, she don't care about all the repercussions. She's not sitting around trying to figure out if I do this, this will happen. Or what do I do? If the, no. She made a decision. One thing. I'm going to give everything that I have to that man. And the results of that just happened. She didn't have to make it happen. What she did automatically exposed it. Because if you're a thief at heart or if you never really like that people to begin with, it's going to be manifested. But I'll say like the scripture says and like Jesus says, woe be to that man. It would be better they were never born. But you're not going to change the fact of that what's in a person's heart is going to be manifested. That's the age, that's the time, that's the purpose that we live in.